Hello everyone. Welcome to the next section of the course, server-side rendering for fun and profit. In this section, we will see how to set up a server-side rendered application, and by the end of the relevant sections, and understand the pros and cons of this technique. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with universal applications. In this video, we are going to get the understanding about the universal application. When we talk about JavaScript web applications, we usually think of client-side code that lives in the browser. The way they usually work is that the server returns an empty HTML page with a script tag to load the application. When the application is ready, it manipulates the DOM inside the browser to show the UI and to interact with users. This has been the case for the last few years, and it is still the way to go for a huge number of applications. For years, we used to have completely different applications for the server and client. For example, a Django application to render the views on the server and some JavaScript frameworks such as Backbone or jQuery on the client. A universal application is an application that can run both on the server and on the client side with the same code. Since Node.js was released in 2009, JavaScript has gained a lot of attention and popularity on the server side as well, thanks to web application frameworks such as Express. With React in particular, the concept of isomorphic web applications became very popular within the JavaScript community. Writing an isomorphic application means building an application that looks the same on the server and the client. React brings the concept a step forward, giving us a simple API to render our components on the server and transparently applying all the logic needed to make the page interactive. For example, event handlers on the browser. In this video, we have successfully learned about universal application, 